welcome back. We're going to finish painting the sister right here for our diorama we talked about for Dark Tide's release. Um, I haven't heard any new news about it, so we're going to continue to uh, keep making the models for what we plan on doing. Hello and welcome to Triple Play Paint Play and Parlay, your source for everything miniatures on the paint table, playing games on the tabletop and PC, and plenty of parlay between me, the Game Master Mr. Nick, and my partner Lee. Lee, what do we have on the table tonight? Uh, we had a sister of battle for our Dark Tide celebration for the release of the game. We kind of did a little bit of her undercoat or her coat the other day. So now we're going to uh, start finish her up and then we finish within our time we will start doing the one of the bad guys chaos cultist i'm using bad sons or evil sons scarlet right now a little citadel paint and our paint brush tonight uh tonight is gonna be ak interactive size four as always um I might swap it out for a five and a half for the face, and then uh, a size two for around the um, little fiddly bits on the inside. Nice. Mr. Nicholas, can you do me a favor? Yep. Could you uh, grab my water pot? I left behind you, actually, on the table. Thank you so much. Aqua. And if you uh, happen to know where black is real fast, drop all, so I, it doesn't have to be. What well. do you need? Black. I know the armor has a little bit of uh, a spot on it. We'll get it later, it's fine. Oh, uh, paint? Yeah, black paint. Yeah. Just uh, it doesn't have to be a special color or anything. Mm -hmm. Let's see how far these wireless headphones go. Going into the water paint room, shop back here. Feel it. Loot the paint. Some people like to go a ratio of 50 50. I am not that particular. This is where we're uncomfortable with. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Nick. You're welcome. That's the one thing I forgot to grab. Gotta forget something. Oh, you know me. I mean, I, uh, I use a shop towel for my paint because shop towels are highly absorbent and I wick off the extra paint and brush. I'm going to start working around this model. Do the side of the brush. A lot of people, uh, when they do their highlights, they uh, clean up their parts as they go along, and I'm one of those people that do my cleanup for the oops, I messed up until the end. That's usually what's happening when I'm painting, a lot of oops. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of oops going on in my house. I mean, uh, I had that Grey Knight model, uh, Castilian Crow or Castlian Crow, whatever you pronounce it. I've heard it many ways. Uh, I uh, knocked him over into. I think you have to say it with a British accent to be proper to start Castle with. Castlian Crow. I knocked him face first into a uh, black ink. Maybe you just want to take a little swim. Yeah, yeah. I had to go you get that you model. get really dirty in the warp. Yeah, I know. So back on the table, we have a uh, Sisters of Battle uh, troop with a Melta gun, I believe. She's a troop, correct? Yeah, she's a uh, part of Retributor Squad, I think. 
Retro Reader Squad, I believe, is a uh, heavy. Let's uh, do some research over here since I'm doing that. Going to the super illegal site here. Oh, yeah. sure. Where there are no rules and it's good old Putin land. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's bring up some info on our sisters here, Adeptus Soritas. Oh, and our 3D printer is done. All right. All right, so let's load this up, and I'll be back in just... I'm going to keep painting while he's doing that. I hope we're all having a good evening. Uh... And we are hot off the printer here. Nice. We'll, uh, Some, uh, paint paint shoulders. And I'm back. Welcome Printer back. is warming up for the other side of the paint stand. All right, we're getting our highlight from the red robe going. Rich Beater Squad, Adeptus Soriatas, they are a heavy unit with power of six. Come in in a unit of five to ten models. Normally equipped with just a simple bolt gun and bolt pistol, but it is allowed to upgrade to the heavy weapons. Uh, Heavy bolter, flamer, or multi melta. So this will be a multi melta. Uh, yeah, it should be. Well, I don't think it is. It's a single melta, actually. Hmm. Uh, it's where it's in the box. Yeah, I believe that's a multi melta. Where's that? Multi meltas usually have double barrel. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, highlighting on that robe. Okay. 
Now we're gonna work the gold. The, the lovely lady's uh, adornments. I'm sorry if I sound a little uh, lispy or whatever. I have a bad tooth. I had to put some oral gel in. Ow. A little bit of water in here. I'm not using flow aid this time. I don't use that generally unless it's like a heavy pigmented like silver. Need just a tad more. metal paints such as gold silver and all that I like to clean my brush in between grabbing the paint so I can see how much is actually on the brush To Tokyo ground drifting over here. Put it back on the camera. So you use the same brush for the metallics as well? Yeah. Sometimes I use a separate brush for metallics. I find they stress out the brush, brush bristles a little bit much. That's true. I see that. I feel that too. And this is uh, Retributor Gold, you said? Yeah, Retribute, Ret Retributor Gold. Apparently, I can't say the word. People know that movie anymore. No, we're uh, running out of Monty Python, guys. I remember the first time I saw that movie. That's a good movie. 
Yeah, it, did you have you seen any Monty Python before you watched Holy Grail or? Uh, yeah, I saw. Um, I used to. Or my dad told me about the um, comedy skits they used to have. Show. And uh, I watched some of those. I actually had a DVD for a while before I got married. That I don't know what happened to it, but it was all their uh, skits on it. Yeah, I made my wife watch uh, some of them afterwards, but not not a not a huge fan. Yeah, hey, they're funny. Hey. Different comedy. Some stuff we can relate to, some we can't. Oh yeah, some of that stuff is still pretty relevant. Oh, yeah. My favorite characters ever, the Knights of Me. I want to show the ring. Not too too I'm a big fan of Sir not appearing in this film. <laughs> What's the other one? Uh, Mel Brooks. My favorite movie from him, of course. Yeah. Spaceballs is a good movie. And then, uh, mm -hmm. what's the other one? Uh, History of the World. Mm -hmm. Good to be part too. one. I was uh, thinking about this uh, last night when I was looking at some of the leftover parts, man. These uh, sisters are really detailed for how tiny they are. Really yeah, I think GW, them. with the amount of desire there was for the sisters line to be updated and made into uh, one of the premier army lines for 40k, really wanted to make sure that they uh, did a great job for them and you know, honored the kind of fan loyalty that they've had with people who've been making armies out of their older kind of junky guys from previously. Yeah. I mean, of all the armies there, there was probably the most hideous ones. Yeah, really, really old and kind of an add-on faction a bit 
afterthoughts. Yep. And now they're uh, one of the top tier armies winning tournaments left and right. I mean, they're they're awesome, like, fighting squad on the tabletop. Yeah, they're very fierce. The Miracle Dice uh, provide uh, great flexibility that they have and being able to uh, manipulate the basically the base game mechanic and being able to yeah. swap around dice and uh, really uh, kind of make up for any shortcomings you might have in anything and really pack a punch that way. The availability of uh, basically any of their uh, sisters to take a variety of weapons, especially the Meltas and multi Meltas, really uh, powerful on the table, even if they're not the toughest, uh, but they still have all of the kind of core mechanics of, of most of the typical Space Marines, uh, plus all of the extras that they bring to the table. I mean, you know, everyone always cries that, you know, oh, the, they'd never be able to shoot a bolter and all that. I mean, Okay, so there's only one army in the world that's going to be that strong? Mm-hmm. Welcome. Thank you for coming by. Golden knees. Huh? Gold on the knees. Yeah, they have a floor de France right here. Okay. That's the other thing I like about them is all their little different iconography that they have on their armor. Like classic meets new. Yeah, compared to your standard Space Marine, uh, they have quite a bit more detail, especially on a much smaller um, scale, scale scale than them. Your standard Marine's pretty boring. All right, should be good. Now we have all these little buttons right here to nail.
clean those up later. The gold details. Looking nice and shiny. Yeah. So we're going to cover up all the black. Yeah. Get some nice color. All right. Now I'm going to switch the size four out for a size two. So we're going to go down in size on the brushes. Yeah, I'm going to start going into the face and clean up the, a little bit of the spilling. Get the, start working on the melt again. Nice. First thing is going to be contrast uh, flesh terror red. Flesh terror. Yeah, it's a deep dark red. We're gonna use this to highlight the existing red. Yeah, I'm gonna put on the red. Oh, that cures. I'll work on the gun. So this is gonna brighten or darken the red. Darken. Darken the red. So we've we've got a brighter red on, and we're gonna darken that up in some highlights. Yeah. So it kind of works like an ink. What? Just mm -hmm. tints. Add water to it. Dilute it out. Pretty diluted. So what would you say the ratio of dilution you're using there for I'd that? say 50-50. 50-50. water. 50 and just water, water, not a flow improver or anything? Nope, just water. Have you tried a flow improver on the contrast? Yeah, it thickens it up a little bit. Yeah? I, I, that's how I feel. People don't feel that way. They'll say it does something else, but it's just how I feel it reacts. Mm -hmm. I just particularly don't like it. I probably should expand my horizons and at least test out the contrast paints sometime to see how they are. 
mean, I enjoy them. They, uh, they uh, are a good tool to have for your your characters. And you find that it speeds up the painting process. Yeah, well, it, it can add uh, variations. I mean, sometimes, I mean, it has happened to me a lot. It gets away from you. And you end up dumping way more on than you want. And then you have to figure out how to alleviate that issue without ruining all the other paint job. So you're just going on into the edges here for the highlighting? Yeah, because uh, it will, uh, the way I have it watered down, it'll just sit in the, the cracks, the crevices, like a wash kind of, mm -hmm. but it'll also tint and bring out different colors I've used, in a more uh, vibrant way. Throw a little more water now. It's gonna be like 75% water. Very watered down. Mm -hmm. creating quite a great depth looking to it. Yeah. Getting to be more like actual um, fabric. Yeah. Uh, really, uh, there's a artist named Angel. I can't ever say his last name. It's in Spanish. Uh, he uh, was teaching a cross hatching on leather and clothing the other day on Instagram. Oh, interesting. So he's like showing fabrics and how you can do fabrics in a different way. Pretty interesting. He made uh, like a burlap sack out of cross hatching on like a black sack, some ogre head or something. What some, were some of the techniques that he was using? A uh, really thin brush and just repeatedly Going one direction versus another direction. One another direction, go the other direction. Oh, that's... See the different variations in the color? Yeah, the, the red looks completely different from the first coat with the contrast on top of it. 
really looking sharp that way. Now we're gonna get some Bugman Glow. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go Warp, warp Lock first. Gonna go to the back to the Metallic. Okay, yeah, go ahead, Metallic. I'm gonna start working on his Melta. A lot of people use Balthazar Gold. I don't like Balthazar Gold. What don't you like about it? Uh, I just don't like the the specific. Uh, it's too reddish, and this is more like a darker bronze. And are you thinning down the metallics as well? Yeah, I'm just using water, say. Trying to make it so, you know, everyone might not have flow and brewer and all that other stuff. This is stuff they can do at home. Without having to go buy additional stuff. Very exciting. Yeah, I mean, a multi melted doesn't have much, or a melted doesn't have much to paint on it. I'm just uh, picking out little parts here and there, throw a little variation in there. A lot of people uh, leave their guns black. I just find that highly boring and unrealistic i guess but the real question is are you gonna bore out the barrel yes for these ones i will i never really do but these ones i will
Are you just doing highlights on that, or are you? Uh, I'm changing the instead of just straight of gold, just adding some different depth to the icon tree here, kind of darkening it up. You can see the detail a little bit better. Mm -hmm. little fittings that her breathing tubes are going into. Up. She dry enough. to five, five zero. Kind of dried up. Get some Bugman's glow.
itty bitty face. In your face. Okay, so that's good for that right now. And do that. Look, I'm beautiful. Switch back to size two. Actually, we're gonna use a five flash zero. Get that black that was brought to us. I'm gonna kind of touch up the details real fast. How many sisters have you painted? Is this, this isn't your first one, is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. First one, huh? Yeah. How how would you uh, consider the assembly of the models? How is it putting them? Oh, uh, they're very tedious because they're uh, they are a lot of pieces. They are uh, and they're small. It's a real difficult. Getting the not difficult is just uh, keep them together while you're waiting for them to adhere to each other, and you don't ruin anything. That's always the nerve-wracking part when you got the gorilla glue out and you're getting the pieces together. Oh my god! Dry I've... fit, dry fit, and then here we go. Yeah, yeah, I've ruined many a models thinking that was good, and then. I either had a piece of glue in my hand or whatsoever, and I turn, and next thing you know, my th thumb is stuck there, and I move, the piece slides, and then the whole thing is just ruined. Let's touch up the black armor right now. I'm just going over in black. Yeah, just black for right now. Uh, the lady, or the character in the trailers, she has black hair, so I figure I'd stay with black for her hair. Just touch up the face piece, right? Got a little bit of black that spilt over. Or sorry, Bugman's glow spilt over.
but our sister has to not only be deadly, but look good doing it. That seems kind of strange for a space nun to, you know, have to look good while doing it, but, you know. Hey, you know what? Man? Ain't judging. Let her do herself. Let her do her thing. I mean, are you going to stop someone who's heading that she's melt again? No, no. I mean, I know I wouldn't. Like, no, thank you. Yeah, I used to hate rivets, and then when I did a commission for a guy who gave me a tank from 30k, oh my goodness. Yeah? Oh, there's rivets everywhere. Well, dots and dots on dots on oh, dots. Oh, yeah. More dots. More dots. Mm -hmm. All right, now stop, stop DPS. DPS. <laughs> All right, the run away. Okay, stop running away. No, run away more. Yeah, fifteen minus fifty DKP. How many people know that reference anymore? Either. <laughs> That's getting to be an old one. What uh, that game is? How old? I think is it's the twentieth year. Is it twenty sixth anniversary? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Am I that old? I don't no, think we're I'm all that old, man. I don't know. Just, just yes, yesterday yes, we beat the big, big brain in Ulduar. Yeah. Hard yeah. mode. <laughs> Lich King. Ulduar was a good, good raid. A lot of cool elements in that. Very Cthulian. Oh, I was so glad to get out on Axe Ramus because all of the dopes in our guild just wanted to be run through that over and over until every single person got the gear they wanted, and then we got them to Ulduar and they sucked. Oh yeah. Yeah, we went down from doing 25 mans to 10 mans because it just couldn't couldn't take 25 Garbage through there. People. It was just horrible. I took I took our 10 best people and then started going through, but that was the only way uh, we were ever going to get through it. Right. It was one of the challenge, most challenging raids. Mm -hmm. Fun, though. Oh, yeah. And very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, some of the most different and interesting fights in the game, really. The vehicle intro was super cool. Yeah. I remember the first time I saw it, I was like, what is this? You must have... Uh... Cheered for like five minutes straight once we finally finished that. We spent uh, at least four weeks on just the final boss before oh, yeah. we could really get it down. It was just really trying. We had, it was kind of one of those things like the configuration of the group was pretty good to like get up to the brain, but then actually defeating the brain with the group wasn't super optimal. So it was just a lot of work to get everybody, especially when you got to split the party and uh, yeah. Like, three groups or something and just getting everything coordinated at the same time is uh, definitely a challenging aspect of that raid okay so our armor is all cleaned up ish <laughs> Uh, there's uh, there's always a detail you'll miss. Oh yeah. I I usually notice them after I put the top coat on and go, oh no. I've done that.
occurs so far. Now we're gonna do the purity seal thingies, paper, cloth, parchment, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I think they're purity seals or oaths. I'm gonna the... keep the same brush, but I'm gonna just use a bigger brush to grab the paint. Dandry dust. If I remember, that's pretty chalky. Uh, yeah. If you don't, if it's not, if it's not thinned out well. Mm -hmm. Comes out of the pot pretty chalky though. Yeah, it does. It'll dry up quick and separate real quick too. All right. Well, that's drying, and get the the rest of the flesh tone. Kiss a little flesh. Switch back to the sign. Hi and welcome. Thank you for joining us. All right. Switch it back to the five slash zero. How much did we thin this paint out? Uh, just, uh, 
consistency, I guess 75% paint, 25% water ish. Okay. Facial highlights done. All okay, right, next color will be lead belcher. Another metallic. Of, yeah, we'll put on a couple of the we've got rosary beads right here, and then we've got. Make this sure you pray to the emperor five times a day. Right. We got this insignia, and we got this canister, and we're gonna put that on. And I'll probably put it on this purity seal. But we're gonna touch up the Xandri dust since it looks like it's dry enough. The second coat. Sometimes the Andrew dust takes like three or four coats to cover properly. Is it the thinness or just the... It just it depends. The opacity sometimes has a hard time overcoming the black. And what's the primer? This is a uh, Vallejo black. That's a pretty pretty deep primer. Yeah. I usually use the gray Vallejo, but I've used the black on some models, and it's very, very dark. Okay. Purity seal. We're done. 
The Emperor will be pleased. Now we're going to flesh wash the face. The little bitty face there is. We're going to use a magenta wash. And it's just scale 75 magenta heavily diluted. Some non all paint. Yeah, I know. But Magenta from Scale 75 is probably one of the best out of opacities. I use mostly Scale 75's reds for my Tyranids and uh, just a little bit of uh, highlights for my Tau, the little red, red lights, lights and such on the vehicles and uh, suits and such. I usually yeah. use one of their reds for that. I want to get, uh, they have a line from called Carmira. And uh, definitely want to get some of those paints, but every time they have the money for it it's like their premier line they don't have any and then when i don't have money for it they they have it in stock You can tell, gave the face a little more definition. I hate having to do anything with the face. Huh? I hate having to do anything with the face. Yeah. The worst is usually a, a Taub troop that I have to do, but otherwise I eschew anything with the face. <laughs> or at least a human face. I guess Tyranids have faces, but... Those aren't faces. Maws. Yeah. I go back in and kind of touch up the black. We hit with a flesh shade. Belcher. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna touch up the gold windows. It's kind of lacking in some areas. Thank you. 
I must say, I'm always, always impressed by the level of detail accuracy you can do with such a large brush. If I was painting like something like that, there would probably be a brush with three bristles that I would use. Yeah, I think it's all uh, to do with uh, how you hold it. Like barely making contact. <laughs> are you trying to make fun of us left-handed people? No, I mean, you guys are normal. So we're gonna take good. that lead, lead belcher I've been talking about for like an hour now. I actually used it this time. I would describe lead belcher as goopy. Ah. Uh, it depends on how fresh it is. It does get goopy though. I like fresh belching. Hmm. That I feel like a Mountain Dew or something. this extend it with water again what's our thin ratio on this one uh about the same 25 75 25 75 I find it hilarious that a, a giant flamethrower like this has a aim sight on it. You don't want to actually flame on one of your sisters. I mean, there's not much aim you can do with a big fireball. That's more like a jet of fiery death. I'd be mad if you accidentally shot me with that. I get over it. I don't hold grudges though, you know. I'd hope there'd be a, you know, chaplain or something around her. Uh, it's a apothecary. Apothecary somewhere near. These little uh, tube connections right here. We're going to uh, a face mask here. 
It's not a dump truck, it's a series of tubes. Mm-hmm. Most accurate description of the internet ever. I think we've seen all the updates to the sisters line. I mean, we've got a, basically a Primark, uh, Robo Lady. Yeah, the Robo Lady. I actually have the Robo Lady. And pretty much everything else. Uh, I, think they're, I think they're pretty much done with the line for them. Or I'd hope so, because so much other lines need to be updated. Oh, you and the Tyranids. I don't need any new models, I just need a codex that's not garbage. There she is. Was that it? That's it. Give her a little good 360 there. Really fantastic level of detail. All of the bits and bobs on her face is great. I might, go, details, I might go back in really later shiny. and throw a little... Uh, Ash and gray on the highlights of the panels, but she's tabletop ready. That's one thing about me, I'm never satisfied. Alright. At some point, you gotta put the top coat on and finish the base. Give me about three or four minutes, and I'll get the other model we're gonna work on. We're back on two and two. Yeah, Browns.
All right, I'm ready. Do this. All right, next model is a Chaos Cultist. Yeah, he's actually a Kriegsman. A Flamer. Flame on. Yep, Flame on indeed. So, first things first, he has uh, brown leather on him. And grab some Rhinox Hive. It's a standard Citadel paint. Yeah, typical brown. And it a little bit. That is one reason why I hate Citadel Hanks. The pots don't always close. All right. How much should we thin this down? Uh, again, the same ratio, 75, 25, around there. And we're back to our four brush. Yep, this is the four. Good basing brush, keeps a point. Got a big enough belly on the brush to hold some paint. It gives you enough control with your brush to be able to not put it in places. Feel free to ask any questions if they have any. Nick will either read them off to me if I don't see it, or he'll answer for you. Will do. Some kind of fur he's wearing. I have no idea what it is, but that's what it is. A rough bit. I'm gonna put khaki on his uh, undercoat. So it's a standard color scheme for these guys, or uh, you know, coming up I've with seen a custom painted. scheme. Or? These came out of the um, Darkstone, uh, Blackstone Fortress set. So I saw them gray, and I've seen them blue. I guess it's kind of whatever.
So I'm just trying to, you know, I'll have to, you know, make it a little bit darker because, you know, they are chaos. So I'm not going to have clean uniforms. They're evil. The evil people don't have a laundry service. We all know that. We just wash in the blood of our enemies. Right? Again, I'm not one of those people that trying to get every little spot. And if you can't see it from the top of the table and you don't have to flip them all around, then I really try not to worry about it. And make his leg guards the cloth half red and uh, the armor plate underneath his leg right here. I don't know how many people do we have in chat right now. There are three of us. I'll let them decide what color to do the armor plates. And what are our choices? Uh, you have warp lock, you have lead belcher. You can make it gold if you want. Um, and then I have, uh, I can mix colors and make like bluish silver. Okay, we're gonna throw Mythfest in red because I like it better than corn red. Now maybe we won't die of heat exhaustion. Yeah, it was pretty warm in here. 
the beast is kicking out some heat over here. Yeah, I hear her. Yeah, I can tell when the fans hit overdrive, they probably want to uh, go some cool air since it's dropped to 43 degrees outside. Hey, that's that's my my kind of weather. I'm always hot though. It's time to go swimming, right? Oh, Bear Club, here I come. What kind of weapon is he sporting? He's got a flamer. Flamer for him. Is that standard for them? Uh, ah, yeah, it looks like an Astro Militarum one or a Krieg one. He is a Kriegsman. Fire bottle in his pouch over here. What is it? Fire bottle. Oh, fuel for his flamer. Ah, I see. Juice to make it go. Yeah, it's go go juice. Anyone uh, mention the colors they want? No, I think we should go with the, the bluish one. Okay. Silver. Mm, blue silver. I mean, better combo with the red. Yeah, mix Temple Guard blue with that Oh. Thank you. 
Oh, this paint mix is gonna be 50 50 silver. So the water is thinning out. Should we get all the red out of our brush because it's freaking okay. Stains. Sometimes I like to take the brush and hit the back side of my hand. Make sure that the gristles are free of any acrylic. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. I usually have quite a bit of colors I need to wash off me when I'm done. Temple Guard Blue's been adding. That's the color.
Warp lock bronze. Um, most of the flamer. You could see the flamer actually has wood grain on it. So the body of the flamer is actually wood. Now that's old school. Yeah. Little spikes were black as well. Hey, honey doggy.
I was say, where is a cute dog? I don't see one of those. All right, that's that so far. What we're gonna do is mask warp lock as well. All right, and before we call it a night, we're going to touch up his khaki on his pants, or his coat, sorry. And the last detail before we call it night is his little lenses, just so we don't forget what color we're gonna do. He used Temple Guard Blue as contrast to all those dark colors we just used. The 
The future's so grim dark we gotta wear shades. Right. Well, he's got a flame ring, you don't wanna burn his retinas out. There's 306 miles to Chicago. We've got a full tank of gas, half a pass of cigarettes, it's dark out, and we're wearing sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Hit it. Hey, Blues Travelers. Blues Brothers. Oh, Blues Brothers, sorry. Again, another movie a lot of people don't know. Blues Travelers, I think the big fat guy with the harmonica. <laughs> uh, how Close. How much time we got left there, Nick? And we are at the end of our stream tonight. Okay. Tomorrow we'll go over uh, highlighting the fur, throw some contrast on it. We'll do his uh, grenades and his. He has another fire pouch right here or a bottle right here. We'll finish up his coat. And then what else do we have on deck for tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, uh, I will be back in the morning, uh, probably doing some more Tyranids or maybe something special, we'll see. And then we will continue at 6 Central Standard Time, uh, finishing up uh, this gentleman and uh, something else from the box set. Plague Marine, right? Plague, Plague Marine. Marine. Is a Plague Marine or a... Um, do a Plague Marine or we can do a... Black Legion Marine. All right. Thank you for joining us. This is Paint, Play, and Parlay. Thank you Your very source much. for everything miniatures. We will see you tomorrow.